This may sound counterintuitive, but I think that press freedom in South Africa is on the decline. But thanks to the internet, individual freedom is probably on the increase. Traditional media and social media playing more or less the same role going forward because a lot of our traditional media has become just as disreputable as social media has. But for many people, uh, they're now in a position to choose what they want to read, what they want to watch, what they want to listen to, which I think empowers them to make those decisions for themselves. And there is a, a multiplicity and a very diverse um, collection of media outlets and media interests that people can pay attention to. So I think it's ultimately up to each individual and there is enough for them to be able to empower themselves with the information and the empowerment and the, and the, the inspiration and all the other things that media should provide you with to be able to make the right decisions. This may sound counterintuitive but I think that press freedom in South Africa is on the decline but thanks to the internet individual freedom is probably on the increase. What's becoming complicated and muddy, and it's not just in South Africa, but it's all over the world, is what to trust, who to trust, what's credible, what's believable. And I think that's something we're all figuring out everywhere in the world.